So today's video is going to be about this saw right here. We've had some, some requests recently uh, for us to do a review on our, our saw that you'll see in the videos. This is a Holtz Pharma G660. Now these are known as clone saws, like clones of steel chainsaws. And I think that's slightly inaccurate. They shouldn't be called clones. They should be called uh, Chinese knockoff saws because that's what it is. Now, <laughs> we, uh, we don't like buying things from Harbor Freight, but we have definitely bought things from Harbor Freight. And, and I'm sure some of you guys have bought some Harbor Freight things too. And uh, so you're aware of the Harbor Freight quality. And that's, that's what I would put this chainsaw in the class of the Harbor Freight quality. Now, this video is not an unboxing. This is not our uh, first impression of this saw. This is a one year review. So we've had this saw for slightly over a year now. and We've used it a lot during that time period. So this isn't like a video of this illusion of what we would like this saw to be. This is a video of what this saw has really become in our lives. Now, now we make a living wood carving, so we depend on this saw. And it sounds like I've been being pretty hard on this saw and I kind of have been being pretty hard on this saw already in this video but the truth is it's it's not that bad for the money now now this saw cost a third of the price of a real one but it's definitely more than a third of the saw so let me talk about a few things that are really bad about this saw that that would be a good place to start so the recoil on this saw is really really weak it's awful we have had problems with it right off the bat. And uh, now I take responsibility for that because when it, when it messed up the first time, we just got another Holtz Pharma uh, recoil and put it back on, which was a mistake. We should have got the real steel recoil and put it back on here and that problem would have been solved, but we just were not financially able to do that. And so we've had to replace the recoil a couple of times and we make the same mistake every time because we're always financially locked into making that, that bad mistake. Now, so that, that's a really weak point. Now, this saw has a decompression switch on it right here. And a lot of my other bigger chainsaws throughout the years have had that too. And I've never had to decompress the saw before I started it. So this one, you have to decompress the saw before you start it. Not because you don't have the strength to pull it or it's too hard or awkward, but because it puts too much of a stress load on the recoil and it'll break. And so you have to use the decompression every time. And that's, that's kind of like, I don't really like that. That wastes a lot of time and it's really confusing when you go to start the saw. So, so I, but yeah, recoil, total trash, but put a real steel recoil on there and then you'd be right back in the game. Now the handle here too, it also is incredibly poor quality. We were cutting right off the bat and and, uh, and the saw went to pinch just a little bit, not even a hard pinch, and I went to just pull it back and the handle just bent immediately. And so the handle is super poor quality. Again, you can just you know get a real handle and put on it and you'll be back in the game. So another thing I'll show you is, uh, let me get up here, the choke on this saw. This plastic goes in and then there's a, a thing that goes across that actually engages and there's a little lock on there. So when you go to choke it, you can see it doesn't want to engage. It goes to flip up. So you have to kind of lock it in there and then hope that it's going to stay. Now on really hot days, that plastic gets pretty rubbery and it almost never wants to choke. And on cold days, it's a little bit better, but that is that is really shoddy right there. This little thing here is, is, uh, is super, super chintz. So that doesn't feel good at all. When you go to use that, you really are feeling some uh, some low grade uh, uh, workmanship right there. So that's yeah, that's definitely Harbor Freight grade. So I don't like that either. But uh, all of those things are pretty minimal overall. That's not that many problems. So. Uh, I'll talk about there's another thing too there was a guy on YouTube that was talking about he thought that the teeth were too hard on the chain and it and it wore out his file and I'm going to agree with that guy because these teeth do seem to be hardened just slightly too hard and they wear out your files really really quickly so that is another thing I don't like however the bar seems to hold up pretty good and the chain itself isn't so bad except for I think they hardened the teeth a little bit too much it's got some real nice dogs on it that dig in pretty good. It doesn't feel too bad in your hands. And so I'm not, 
I'm not terribly disappointed. Now, when we bought this saw, we did not think that we were going to get a high-grade steel uh, 92cc saw. We didn't think that. We thought we were going to get a Chinese knockoff saw that we could use, and even if we used it for one season, that was enough of a value for us to justify buying it. Now, however, that season has come and gone, and so has a few other seasons, and the saw is still working fine. So, it's not that bad of a saw. I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with it. And if I took the time to put more uh, high-grade parts on it, you could build it right into something that's really worth having. But anyways, let's go ahead and, and do a cold start on the saw, and you can see what that's like. Now, let me backtrack a minute. When I was going to go to make this video, I thought, oh, let me break out this saw and clean it up. I want it to look really, really good for the camera. And then I thought, well, that's not actually what this video is about. This video is about a one-year review and what this saw looks like. So I literally just picked it up off the floor of the shop and set it on the bench. And now I'm talking about it and we're going to go cut. And so there's no cleanup. This is what happened with this saw over a year of, of time, which you can see it still looks basically brand new. And so let's go out and uh, do a cold start and start cutting and you can see what you think about that. So that is what it looks like to make a few cuts with the Holtz Pharma G660. Uh, the piece of wood that we cut out there measures 18 inches across. I measured it before we cut because I wanted to give you guys some, some uh, accurate data there to go with. <laughs> and it was a piece of green sycamore. Sycamore is a pretty hard wood and it's fairly uh, demanding on the saw. So yeah, we made a few cross cuts just so you could kind of watch the saw cut and see how it performed. And then we made a couple of rips. Now a rip is a way more demanding cut and it's way harder on the saw, but you could see it, it had no problem there either. So we made those rips so you could see what it looked like to make a rip. And because we needed that piece of wood that came off the side, to uh, carve a bowl out of. So we're going to do that. Carve that bowl as soon as we get done with this uh, chainsaw review video. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so back, back to the saw here. Now, people watch reviews, and I watch reviews, for 
two reasons which ultimately end up being one reason and that is it, uh, to help you better like make your decision on should I or should I not buy this saw now you can just watch the saw operate that's what I like doing is to see whatever that you know in, in this case to watch the saw cut to see if it looks like it's working good and to hear if uh, if if the person the owner of the saw is impressed with it and see what what they say when they're talking about it but but uh, you know should I uh, suggest that everybody go out and buy one of these saws I, I don't necessarily think that that is going to be the end result of this video that everyone should go buy one of these saws because this is going to be the magic solution to all your problems it's definitely not going to be the magic solution to all your problems and uh, so I'm not saying that however I will say that we make a living carving, wood carving, and so we have to cut a lot of wood. And, and uh, we carved a lot of spoons and a lot of bowls to save enough money to buy this saw. So we invested in this saw. We took a gamble on this saw, and this saw did bring a lot of value to our business. This is one of the foundation stones of our whole operation here. Now, we depend on this saw. And so, so taking that gamble and, and, and risk on this saw did pay off for us. And so this was the magic uh, answer to all of our problems, so to speak. Now, all that being said, if we were financially able to buy a uh, Husqvarna or a steel, we definitely would have, have pursued either one of those paths because those are better saws <laughs> than this one. So if you are financially able to get a steel, or a Husqvarna, I definitely say do that. Because in no way, shape, or form, or any stretch of the imagination, is this as good as one of those real saws. This is not as good as one of those real saws. However, it does bring enough value to make it worth it. And so maybe that's where we should end the video, really just dumbing things down to a, a really simple uh, analogy here, or question, or terms, or whatever you want to say. Is the saw worth the 500 that we paid for it and I would say without any question yes the answer is this saw is definitely worth the money that we paid for it it brings enough value to easily justify spending that so I'm still not saying go rush out and buy one of these though <laughs> but for us it definitely was 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 good enough and and uh, we are happy with the decision we made so I hope this confusing video of switching back and forth <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, and talking uh, about this saw brings you some sort of value and, and and maybe aids in your ability to make a decision should you or should you not buy this saw so yeah I hope it brings you some value and I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, we'll see you next time <laughs>